I'm going to go through the solution to this exercise um, question. So I asked you to consider this uh, steam power plant, which is operating on the ideal ranking cycle. And you're told that the steam enters the turbine at 3 megapascals and 350 degrees C and is condensed uh, in the condenser to a pressure of 75 kilopascals. And you're asked to find the thermal efficiency of the plant and the back work ratio um, for the thing, which is the ratio of the work um, out um, of the plant to the to work to the work that you have to put in. So the crux of this problem and all of these problems really is to find the enthalpy at each of the um, points states as you go around the cycle, and then from that you can work out um, the heat that's the net heat that's been supplied, the net work that's been done, and then you can get the um, thermal efficiencies and the backward ratios from that. So that's what you're trying to do. First, get the um, the um, enthalpies, then you can work out uh, the solution to the questions from that. So on that note, we're going to go around the cycle and we're going to work out the enthalpy at each point. So for state one, um, that's quite easy. We know the properties of the fluid here. We know it's at 75 um, kilopascals. It's on that 75 kilopascal pressure line. And so we can just read that straight from the steam table. So we can know that the enthalpy at point one is the enthalpy of the fluid at 75 kilopascals, um, the saturated liquid, and so that gives us 384 uh, kilojoules per kilogram. Okay, so to work out the enthalpy at um, point two, we need to work out um, the, the, cha the change in enthalpy is equal to the work that's done. So we can, if we find out the work that's done, we can then add that to the enthalpy at point one to find the enthalpy at point two. And the enthalpy, sorry, the, the work that's done by the pump is equal to the volume at 1 times delta P. And so we can get the volume 1 again. We get that from the steam tables by reading um, uh, the, the specific volume of the, um, of the fluid at that point at 75 kilopascals. Um, and then you plug that in with the different pressures. Note that um, I've put the pressure in kilopascals, so my answer is in kilojoules per kilogram. Um, so it's three uh, megapascals minus 75 kilopascals gives us a work input of um, three kilojoules per kilogram. So then to work out the enthalpy at um, uh, state two, I simply add the work that's done to the um, enthalpy at state one, which gives me um, 387 kilojoules per kilogram. Um, Remembering that no heat supplied between one and two, so the change in enthalpy is just work equal to the work um, that's done. So now we need to find the enthalpy at state three. Um, again, that's reasonably easily easy because we're told um, the conditions of the steam at state three. Um, so we can just read it straight off the the steam table. So we're told we're told that the um, um, it's at 3 mega megapascals and 350 degrees C, so we can just look in the steam tables and read the enthalpy straight out as um, 3,117 kilojoules per kilogram. So the last enthalpy to find is the enthalpy at state 4. And it's a little bit trickier, but basically what we're going we're gonna, to um, do here is, because we know that... Um, this, or we're assuming that this is operating on the ideal cycle. So we're assuming that the turbine has an isentropic efficiency of 100%. Then we know the um, the entropy at 3 is the same as the entropy at 4. So, and, um, so we can work that out then. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to equate these two and then use that to find the enthalpy at state 4. So that's why I've got the enthalpy, sorry, the entropy, uh, sorry, it's isentropic, so the entropy at 3 is the same as the entropy at 4. So that's why I got the entropy of um, 3 here, so we can work out the enthalpy at 4, because they've got the same entropy. So um, how do we find the um, the enthalpy at 4? So I said the, enth the entropy is the same at 3. So we basically what we're going to do is we're going to work out the, um, the dryness fraction of the steam between 1 and 4. So by knowing the um, entropy of the um, the water at um, uh, state one, 
and knowing that the the change in entropy between um, the saturated liquid and the saturated steam um, so that's what FG is there we can then work out the dryness fraction again just um, if you can't remember how to do this look back to your um, first year uh, thermodynamics so the dryness fra fraction for X for um, state 4 is the entropy at 4 minus um, SF all over SFG but remembering that um, S4 is equal to S3 so we can plug the entropy in there and if we do that we work out it's got a dryness fraction of um, 0.89 basically then we can use that um, dryness fraction to um, work out the enthalpy so the enthalpy at 4 is equal to the enthalpy for the, on the fluid line um, plus dryness fraction times the difference and if we plug all those numbers in um, we end up with an enthalpy of around um, 2400 kilojoules per, ki per kilogram okay so now because we found um, all the enthalpies between 1, 2, 3 and 4 we can now go on and solve um, uh, for what the question was actually asking us so the question asked us to find um, the thermal efficiency so we can find um, Q in and that's the difference between 3 and 4 so that's um, 2730 kilojoules per kilogram and Q out is um, between 4 and 1 is um, a difference of around 2018 kilojoules per kilogram therefore the thermal efficiency is um, uh, what you want out which is your network divided by your heat supplied and remembering that W net is equal to Q net because um, you're going around the cycle so w net is equal to q net so put, plug in all the values into here we end up with a thermal efficiency of 26 percent then the second part of the question we were asked for the back back work ratio and that is the ratio of the amount of work out sorry the amount of work that you have to put in to the amount of work that you get out so again from the enthalpies we can work out that the work out is equal to um, the change in enthalpy between 3 and 4 which gives us 715 kilojoules per kilogram and um, we've already worked out um, what the work in we had to use that to find the enthalpy at 2 so if we divide that by the enthalpy out it gives us um, a very low value actually 0.4% um, per which is quite an interesting um, uh, figure actually if you consider that to the amount of work that you have to put in into an auto cycle or a diesel cycle for example compared to this ranking cycle it's, it's, um, it's very low